Hello my YouTube friend, this is Not Mechanic here and today I'm working on a 2000 Toyota Tundra. Hopefully I said that correctly and what I'm going to be doing today is I am going to be replacing the post terminal end and the positive cable. This one is a little different than what we used to seeing. So let's go replace it. Let me show you what we got going on here. As you see, this is the post right here. And this is the cable that's supposed to be connected to the post. As you can see, it detached out of it. So this is the one we're gonna be replacing. We're gonna be replacing the positive one. Now we have to disconnect the negative terminal. So what we're gonna need is, we're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket. Once you loosen that up, all you have to do is just pick it up. And once you pick it up, put it to the side because you don't want it to come back to you. Now we're gonna do the same thing to this one. You can see also has a wire here. So we're gonna disconnect this out of here. What we're gonna need also is the 10 millimeter socket we have. Once you loosen it up, you can bring this up. Now we have to take this nut out of here to take this cable out. And we also have to take this nut out of here. This is a 12 millimeter. Let me set up the camera. So we're going to remove that nut from here before we can remove this wire. Once you remove it, you don't need this anymore. Put the wire to the side. Now we have to remove these posts out of here. And this has a 12 millimeter nut here and it has three wires, one going this way and two going the other way. See it? So you're gonna use your 12 millimeter socket and you're just gonna remove it. Loosen it up. Now see the orientation how it goes. And this is comes out straight down. See it? That's what broke. It's supposed to be attached just like this. As you can see, it broke. Now we have three wires there. So we're gonna take our new one. As you notice, the washer's in the bottom, so we're gonna keep the washer right in the bottom. Let's remove the nut and then we're going to put this like this. These three wires have three holes on it. They're going to go from the bottom. The big one goes there. Excuse me. It goes this way. It has to go this way. You see it? Facing towards the post. So you just put the other wire in and this other wire. So now you got all the wires in, take the nut, want to put it in there, then you, all you do is take your socket, make sure it's nice and tight, not too tight, but make sure it's tight, and then all you have to do now is put this other wire here. The one we took out and put it right here. It's gonna go, that wire is gonna go right in here. Connect it in. Take the nut, put it back in. Now that's in there, what you want to do is take the post with all three of them, put it in. Right in. Gonna have to open it a little more.
Gonna have to get something to tap it in. Yeah, let me get something to tap it in. Be right back. I went and got me a hammer. It's the only thing I found right away. But you can use the back of your screwdriver and hit it in. You don't want to go too hard. All you want to do is make sure that it goes in. And there it goes. It's right in there. So the next thing we're going to do is just finish tying up the screw here. Hopefully, it's still a 10. Yep, it's a 10. So we got to do is just screw it in. Make sure it's tied up nice and tight. There you go, now that it's tight, we're going to put the negative one, make sure you clean them, I have this here that I'm going to put at the end, but also I'm going to clean it up a little bit, but let's just show you what I'm doing here. I noticed too that this battery is loose, so I'm gonna have to fix that. Get the bracket for it. Okay, so there you go. Look at how nice it looks. This is how it looks once it is finished. As you can see, the three wires together, the nut there, the terminal post there. And you have completed replacing the terminal post on your 2000 Toyota Tundra. So once again, this is Non Mechanic. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Or contact me on Non Mechanic 101 at Yahoo.com. That is Non Mechanic 101 at Yahoo.com. And remember, if Non Mechanic can do it, you can do it. Later.